Hi friends, let's create a web based application by using Struts Framework. Now, before starting the Struts Framework application, just what are the prerequisites for the Struts? We require jar files, we require one Struts.xml file, and we also require one web.xml file, and also there is an additional uh, XML file that is for validating a JSP page. So we require an inbuilt validation, so that is why we require this validation.xml file. Now let's begin with our application. Create a new dynamic web project. Let's give the name my struts to demo just see to it whether your server is configured or not initially when you start a new workspace this is not available so you just have to click on the runtime select apache tomcat server go for the next select your server give you a path just click finish so you'll find your server is available S click next just click next if you want you can generate a web.xml click finish now if you'll find this project has been created with a particular directory structure the main folder is your root folder that is web content if you click on this web content you'll find again two folders these web inf is required now if you see this lib folder we need to copy that all the jar files from your starts to files let's collect all these jar files and paste it in your lib folder so you'll find all these files are available now the next step is we need to create a folder in web dot web inf just create a folder name classes in web inf I'll see web classes folder is available now in this classes folder we need to copy this struts xml file just copy and paste it here in classes folder you see the struts.xml is available now the next step is we have to create a package inside my source folder just create a package say com.mca let's click finish and this package will create an action class let's create an action class for registration action so basically we are developing a registration application let's click finish now important thing is we have to use validations so we need to extend action support so this action support is available in one of the jar file that we have used called scom.opensymphony xwork2.action support now we have to use some of the variables like let's take an email id let's take a name and uh, let's take um, contact details so contact number we'll take contact number as let's say long Now the next step is we'll have to take one execute method. So its return type would be string. It will return success keyword. Actually, this success is available in action support. So that is why it has taken it from uh, action support. The next thing is we need to generate the getter setters for all these email ID and everything. So just source, so just source 
generate data set as so select all just click ok so we'll find the data set as for all these variables that you have declared save this now the next step is we need to copy that XML file which is required which is for validation and just paste it over here in the same package now I'll just cut now the important part is we need to give the name as registration action so whatever the class name that you're creating over here it should be the first name in your uh, XML file validation so this part will be the second part where you need to give just validation name here so this overall naming convention is really important so click finish so you'll find the registration action hyphen validation.xml when you click on this you'll find some of the fields have been defined over here like the name this is the name that we are going to give in the JSP page this is again the contact and email id if you'll find this registration action the same name that we have given over here so whichever field that you want to validate we need to add the field name over here okay so next thing is we need to create a JSP pages let's create the first page as my first dot JSP this is my first dot JSP now important thing is we need to use stress tags so for that we need to use a tag lib directive here ui equals to strats hyphen tags and you need to give the prefix as s. now we'll just use the struts tags form excuse an action you can give any keyword action here so I'll just give the name as register close this tag and the next thing is we need to use the text boxes so we have text field so you can give the name here first is your name then we can give the label also this is not possible to give the label in your uh, HTML tags so this is the difference actually here by stats tags here actually also text box we have a text uh, input type text in HTML tags so here we have text field to display a text field over text box now for label we can give here enter your name then similarly just will give one br tag now we can enter the email id email id then you can take your contact number so this will be your contact number So these fields are really important, the name. So this will be same in your action class as well as in your validation XML. Okay. Next thing is the submit button. So value is equals to submit. So your first page has been designed. Let's give the title as registration. now the next step is we can we have to just redirect these details to the next page so uh, again before doing this thing we'll just open the struts.xml we need to do some configurations just make it default package here action name would be same as your first .jsp page so we have given a register i think name and your class is available in com.mc.registration 
exception and when you when that execute method returns success we need to open let's say okay let's open a success page now the important thing is we need to give input name here the reason for giving this input is we have to use an inbuilt validation over here so which form we need to validate for that we need to give here a result as an input so that is why I'm giving here for the first page input so all these configurations have been done just close this now the next step is the web.xml so initially the Eclipse created its own web.xml all these files welcome files but uh, we can use our own web.xml just copy this web.xml and paste it here in web data in web I have an INF so it will ask if overwrite just overwrite and when you click on this web.xml this is difference it has welcome file along with some filter mappings with the stats too so here the welcome file would be my first.jsp so this configuration also has been done and the next thing is uh, we need to create a success.jsp page so again on web content right click new jsp files we need to create a success.jsp so here again we require stats tags we need to use the directive tag lib and the important thing is we need to display the details so hello Hello. So we need to use this start stack for displaying all the properties. So what will be the value here? It will be my name. Then you can give here br tag. Hello, your email ID is. So, uh, just pay, copy this, paste it here, change the value. Here it should be same as your email ID and your contact number is so again, let's paste it. So, we'll find this as the contact. So all these details we need to display so this is my success page so all the configurations have been done we have changed the search.xml we have changed the web.xml we have uh, uh, used this validation xml file okay so let's execute our first.jsp page so it will open your page let's click on the submit first so here you will see your, our email uh, this validation framework is working properly so you will see the name is required all these validations we have given them the validation xml let's type something ok if I will put wrong email id let's see the contact number ok when I will click on this again there is a message in valid email id so I need to give correct email id and you will just click on the submit so you will find your details so that's it thank you